there are a few reasons why Kyle Rinhouse deserves to be in this video. The reason being is that a couple of months ago, like I think two months, I made a few videos about Kyle Rinhouse. And unfortunately, he got just like bumped by so many of his uh, loyal fans, quote unquote, loyal fans, who claim that he did nothing wrong, quote unquote, and that he's he was doing it for quote unquote self defense, which I find that bullshit. I really find it bullshit that it was for self-defense back in like August. And even now. Because apparently today He's getting a new merchandise site, which signals a new, a quote unquote, new era of criminal defense. A website designed to raise two million in defense funds for Kyle Rittenhouse, the Illinois teenager who was charged with killing two men and injuring a third during street protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin, in August, has prompted concerns among. Eps Experts who call it a dangerous step toward ingenting brand marketing into a criminal defense. The website, which went live late last week, features more than 30 apparel items and accessory accessories emblazoned with the logo Free Kyle and the slogan Self Defense is a Right, Not a Privilege. A direct quote from Rinhouse, his attorney says, There is a beanie, $21.99, a hoodie, $39.99, and a t-shirt, $21.99. By mid-Tuesday, the website had collected th nearly 60000 from more than 800 donors, according to a counter on the site. Rittenhouse is charged with first degree intentional homicide and first degree leftist homicide in the killings of two men, Anthony Hoover and Joseph Rosenbaum, on August 25th, following protests over the police shooting of Jacob Blake. He is also charged with attempted first degree intentional homicide for allegedly shooting and injuring a third man, Gage. Gross sea shoots, and along with possession of a dangerous weapon while under the age of 18, and two counts of first degree reckless endangerment. Since his arrest, Renaus has emerged as a book hero for the far right. The Fight Back Foundation raised two million in bail money that secured his freedom in late November. He is awaiting trial while living with his family in his in an undisclosed location in the Midwest. Far right and guns rights groups, including the National Association for Gun Rights and American Mo Six Six Hundred Eighty Nine, have raised money for living expenses. John Pierce, a Los Angeles-based attorney for Women House. See that the website is controlled by the teen's family and is not connected to any outside organization. Pierce started out on Rinhouse, Rinhouse's criminal defense team until he was stepped down to focus on filing future civil de defamation cases in Oklahoma the family. He is not receiving payment from the funds the website generates, he said. We have to do anything and everything to ensure that he gets the best possible defense, and that is extensive, he said. We need to raise money as much as we can, so we are taking in all measures to raise money.
So yeah. And then just about this time around. You know, I guess they're trying to actually free Kyle Renhouse. Which, to my knowledge, is really irresponsible if, uh, if anyone tries their way to free a criminal. And I still stand by that because he's in this video for a reason. And he does not get the presence in this video by Santa Claus. I mean, in the end, it says, I'm not sure this is a high water mark in the world branding, he added. Here, we have people using tools of brand building to build the brand of an accused criminal, and that is taking us places that are very different. I mean, I don't buy that the fact that he's still innocent quote-unquote innocent because in my opinion Kyle Renhouse is not innocent I mean come on he broke the law he broke the law for a reason like there is no joking about it he broke it oh 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 There is this criminal, huh? I wonder why he broke the law. Let's read it together, shall we? The, the Wisconsin state law generally states that any person under 18 years of age who possesses or goes armed with a dangerous weapon is guilty of a class A misdemeanor. And the state also generally prohibits the possession of a firearm by any person under the age of 18. I cannot give Kyle Renas a pass because he did something naughty this summer. And therefore, I, Santa Claus, must forever give him a call, which will be on his stocking. He does not deserve a, a second chance. He's a criminal, and criminals shouldn't deserve to break laws. You heard a man. He's a no good criminal. He has done a bad thing. Even if some people claim that he did it for self-defense, there is no actual proof that he did it for self-defense. In the video I, I saw, he did this to kill somebody who was trying to take away the gun from him because he was killing people. Killing innocent people who were protesting by minding their own business, and he got in the way of that. He does not deserve a second chance. He should remain in jail already. I don't know why it's not processed yet. Anyway, Kyle Renaus, go to fucking hell. <laughs>